next chapter, Mr. Bear will tell you a story about one of us. Chapter. You're going to learn all about the horse. Once upon a time, on the coast of the Northern Sea, there was a prosperous village called Sounding Rocks. Unfortunately, the villagers lived under the constant threat of pirates who wanted to rob them of their goods. The gods, however, had given the village a very special system of defense. Whenever the pirates attacked, the guardian gave the alarm by striking the rocks with his magic cudgel. The sound that this brought forth from the rocks gave extraordinary strength to the villagers and sapped that of the pirates. The Guardian had three fine sons who vied with each other to prove who was the best and bravest. Three youngsters on horseback, they're your sons. Where? Down there on the plain in front of the woods. Don't you see them? Your eyesight isn't what it used to be. All right, let's see what you can do. Horseman of the three of us, but when I use my muscles, you ride very well, <laughs> and you're so strong, it's unbelievable. They're both extraordinary. I have a long way to go before I'm worthy of them. Who 
that is riding down there. I know my youngest son trains at this hour, but he's not that good a rider yet. It must be my middle son. Oh my goodness, what a stupendous jump. Truly excellent. have been vanquished! It was close. Thanks to you and the cudgel, we were able to defeat them once again. suffered a crushing defeat. Many of your comrades died and died in vain. All we can do now is make one last desperate attempt. We must seize and destroy the magic cudgel. Your Majesty, I volunteer for this difficult mission. Excellent. Come forward. Here's what we'll do. Guardian of the rocks, speak to me! Speak to me, please, Guardian, speak to me! Uh, the pirates attacked me by surprise. They destroyed the magic cudgel that brings the sound from the rocks. Now we have no defense against them. Boy, now stop barking. 
The magic cudgels are stored in the inaccessible peak of Mount Kuryang, and no ordinary horse can get there. Then what do we do, Father? I don't know, sir. Father, the village elder just told me that a horse with fire in its hooves has been seen in the Valley of the Rodier. The sage who lives there is looking for somebody who can ride it. That's very good news, but where is he going to find someone who can ride a fire-hoofed steed, I wonder? Even if he's got fire in his hooves, he's still a horse, and no one can ride horseback better than I can. That's true. Mm. I'd be happy to try, Father. Father, I beg you, allow me to be the one to go to the Valley of the Rodier and try to ride the horse with the hooves of fire. I am the eldest, so it's only fitting that I should be the one to go. But you could be facing terrible danger, my son. I have been blessed with strength and courage. Let me put them at my family's service. You're right. I give you permission to leave, and I'm sure you'll do everything you can to carry out your task. Thank you, Father. Who's the brave young man who's going off to save us? Is it you? Yes, I'm the one who's going. Oh, oh. I know you'll bring us back a new magic cudgel. Take these rice cakes. They'll give you strength for your journey. I'm very grateful to you for that. It was a very kindly thought. Take this, too. What is it? Honey, to make the journey oh. sweeter. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Bring back the cudgel as soon as you can. It's the only thing that'll make our father well. Farewell, friends. I hope to see you very soon, and with good news, too. Good luck! Good luck! Remember, brother, don't expose yourself to any unnecessary risks, but bring back the cudgel. So long! Good luck! <laughs> Get across. Do it.
valley of the road, dear young man. Thank you. I am the eldest son of the guardian of the sounding rocks. I understand that ferocious pirates have attacked your village and destroyed the magic cudgel. Yes, O oh Sage, and I'm here to ask your permission to have the fire hooved steed take me to Mount Curian to get a new one. You are a brave young man, and I think it only right to offer you whatever help I can. Take the horse, he is about to appear. Huh? Magnificent! Please, Magnificent Horse, take me to Mount Kuryong that I may find a new magic cudgel for my people. Sorry, my boy, but I don't think you're the right rider for this horse. I beg you, wise one, bring the horse back. I must mount him. I must bring safety to my village. Your cause is so noble and your heart so pure that I will give you another chance. Here is the horse. Mount him well. Oh, horse with the flaming hooves, I beseech you, take me to Mount Kuryong. I must find a new magic cudgel for the protection of my family and my village. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good. Oh! 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 Whoa! Whoa! Hold on there! Oh! Hey. Son, it is clear that the fire-hooved steed is not for you. You mean all my strength and all my courage and all my training are worthless? Unfortunately, it is not enough to desire something in order to be able to obtain it. It will require a far better horseman than you. It will require a far better horseman than you. My brother! Thank the gods you're back! Tell me what happened. Did you get the new cudgel? Do you mean to say you had to give up your quest for the new magic cudgel because you don't ride well enough? That means it's the end for us. Father, allow me to try. I beg you. Do you really think you can succeed Father, where your older Father. brother failed? There were pirate ships on the horizon when the men went out fishing this morning. Then go, my son. Fly to the valley of the road deer like lightning. Thank you, Father. I'll go right now. I swear I'll bring back that magic cudgel or die trying. Brother, hurry back with the cudgel! The horse. How is the horse classified in the animal kingdom? 
The horse is a mammal belonging to the order of Parasodactyla, the family of Equidae and to the genus Equus. They have a smooth coat that comes in a variety of colors, a thick mane and a long flowing tail. How many species are there and where do they live? The exact origins of the horse are still under discussion. There are several species of wild horse living in Central and Northern Asia and in Africa, while domesticated horses are to be found all over the world. These are divided into horses used for riding, draft horses and ponies. How do they live? In their natural state, they normally live in herds. They're animals with a very slow reproductive cycle. After a pregnancy lasting 11 months, each mare produces one single foal. How does it move? Horses living in herds usually move around at a swift trot, breaking every now and then into a canter. What do they eat? They feed off grass and other vegetation. However, with domestication, horses have learned to eat food containing substances of animal origin. How do they protect themselves? Horses are usually fairly tolerant of other animals, though if necessary, they defend themselves by biting and kicking. How do they relate to people? Extremely well. For thousands of years, they've proved invaluable to man. Can they live in the city? Yes, without much difficulty. As a matter of fact, they were once the main means of transport and were used to pull carts, carriages and trams. Well, have you all learned the lesson? <laughs> the moral is that if you want to improve yourself, you have to study and train with great determination. <laughs> oh, look who's coming! <laughs>